however you say the name, Fatum Batula, Fatum Betula, something. Is that light beaming in? Yeah, a beam of light reflecting off of something in the room. Oh, right there. Anyway, new space. I'm learning new things. Uh, so yeah, this game uh, contains flashing lights and images that may cause discomfort and potentially trigger seizures with those with those sensitive epilepsy. Read that and do what you will. Game might be loud, though. BB. All right. Options. Options. Um. Game crash. So you'll be touching the options, they're perfect the way they are. Work that time. Yep. Yep. No. Game just crashed? Yeah. That happens sometimes. I like that the, the volume bar is a stretched image. That reminds me of the old days. Okay, now we're ready to go. Where do I begin? Okay. So yeah, this game, I don't know anything, I don't know too, too much about it. I know it's like a, it's like a dream sort of situation. And it's sort of your, your first person, low poly horror sort of stuff. All right, and I'm going to, ooh, that's bad timing. I'd say probably in about, actually, I'm gonna put myself, put myself a little timer. It's gonna be about 10, 10 minutes? Well, I, I, you know what? Yeah, it's gonna end about 10 minutes. I have to go do something really, really quick, and then I'll be back. So I'm gonna set a timer. Actually, I'm gonna set a 15 minute timer. No, it should be 10. 10 minute timer and as soon as that goes off I need to run real quick and then I'll be back in the jiffy we'll probably just probably get like the tutorial or something like that I don't know we'll see I don't know what I'm supposed to do here but yeah this is supposed to be like a dream sort of game I don't I don't really it's, it's a very strange game from what I remember. I don't remember seeing like a cohesive plot or anything. I don't know. I, it's all very cerebral, I think. So we'll see. We'll see where that gets us. Can't seem to do anything. Honestly, it might be 10 minutes of me doing nothing. Freaking Eon stuff. Some say the air itself has a face. It's true. The child once bore witness to its piercing eyes. Wracked with grief, she traveled... She traveled to the end of a narrow stone path atop a river and pleaded the cold to show itself. The sight of nothing stole her gaze, and she waited still. A horrible row of teeth soon reflected her image, and she was gone. Oh yeah. 
Okay, so that's my hint system. Then. Supposed to wait even longer? Wow. Come on back now. Here come the teeth. Now what? Oh, consider this tree and our land to be one and the same. A syndicate. A synecdoche. Synecdoche? Both are kept between the living and the dead. This ancient water holds its roots in limbo. As such, everything here has failed to accept entropy. I have considered us to have not existed in a previous state at all. The plant is our fate, and its water our fuel. I will provide you with the tools to make alterations. Do whatever you must, but don't feed it. What? Don't feed it what you bleed. recognize this cat uh, if we've seen this in other um ps1 horror games i don't know how long i've been here there's a constant pain in my empty stomach empty hungry yeah that's odd i'm i'm actually feeding someone's cat this week crazy they were away on vacation it's the cat that I'm feeding. That's it. That's the one. Ooh, what's this? There's a note here. It reads, If you're reading this, I am dead. This tool once aided my research, and I hope it will do you the same. Be warned, I fear this blade has become weak with age, and it may only have a few strikes in it. I'd like to make a um a low poly game like this like getting the style is gonna be really hard if i ever do that i mean i played enough games right i know where to look in order to get inspiration but just being able to make simpler uh environments like this quickly just it, it definitely um appeals to me i think not, not that i'm like lazy or anything but just being able to represent something with a lower quality model, like it's not one to one. It is a representation of an object. It is not necessarily, um, is there a jump button? No, no, I have to go up the ramp. Uh, it's not necessarily like exactly, it's exactly like it, but it represents it well and you can tell what an object is. Like this is just pixels, but if you go away, it's like, oh, it's like, spi it's like a spice rack kind of thing. But you're not like having to model each individual bottle or whatever. And I can have a little bit of charm. I feel. 
Especially because you have to like develop like a graphical style in order to do something like this as well. Okay, can't go in the water. I wonder if I can slash the rope on the boat. Oh. She goes. I need the fishing rod. Clearly, I need a fishing rod. Maybe this is another uh, horror fishing game. I okay, got two minutes coming up. Then I'll have to leave you for a moment. There's a shrine over here. What's it say? A gravestone for a fisherman sits here. It reads, May we see him in our dreams. If I click on the fish, This time, I'll be up. I'll be back. I'm going to leave it on this screen, but I'm going to play some music. So I'll just be back in a quick little chippy. Enjoy uh, something weird, probably. Barely visible and weird. I ran. I ran for you guys. Real fast. I'll edit that out later. I'm sure uh, I'm going to put this footage up someplace else later. You guys have no idea that I was gone for all that time. And I'm just going to unpause as if I was only here for... Only gone for, like, five seconds. Even if that... Alright, so let's go do some fishing, huh? How do I know when the fish is bitten? Like that. That's how I know the fish has bitten. Well, I'm gonna catch all the fish then. How do I catch ones that are lower, though? I'll catch big fish. I guess I can only catch the ones that are by the surface. <clears throat> I'm here, fishy. Heat coming, I think. Oh, yep. Catch that different colored fish on the other side of the lake here. Yeah, this is like um, what is it, Mystery Under Lake Ophelia all over again? It's like it's like the same gameplay without the really uh, intricate fishing mechanic.
Yeah, yeah, get it. What's my inventory look like? Can I see that stuff? Oh, I have all the fish, yeah. Okay, you can just throw the fish. Okay. I guess it only counts how many different fish I have. I wish I could use the scroll wheel to change my weapons, but I can't. Gotta use the pause menu. Like the old classics, right? Gotta be authentic. Are you guys different fish? I like the music. Calming. Ambient. Little tune. I don't know how long I've been here. There's a constant pain in my empty stomach. Good fish. <coughs> Bad fish. <laughs> oh, that's this. And suddenly autumn. Very pretty. Just a whole other area. Oh. Hey there, Bucko. Who the hell are you? You know what? Doesn't matter. Maybe you can help me. You're standing before my life's work. I categorize and study magical phenomenon. As such, here and there, I've been cursed. One such affliction is that I cannot open wooden doors. I'm stuck. My final wish is to create something without death. Unfortunately, the skull of a previous immortal is needed. If only one I knew of le The only one I know uh, I know of lives behind the wooden door. Just my luck. If you can get me that skull, we may never have to meet death. There is a page from a book here. It reads Magical Fetishes, Volume 2, page 33. There exist tales of a glass jar that can o can only hold what is remembered. It captures art that is truly desired by the eye of a late beholder. Memories of the dead can take form within the jar, and it is often highly agent here. I think I know what to do with that. So this is just a game of fetch quests, then. Excuse me for, you know, I'm going to announce it. That was a little bit of nose picking. It was a dried thing. Dry air out recently. It's really been drying the hell out of my nose. I've been like, that's what I'm looking for. I've been congested. I've had like a copious amount of, like, of, 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 of dry ass boogers. It's been horrible. It's been bothering me so much. I was worried about that uh, streaming today. I can't. Dr. Teeth won't visit me. Yeah, it's been really bad lately. Not a fan.
Dogs are being loud. And I'm not going to close my window. Oh, it doesn't always come up with the mic. It's only when I'm talking. Oh, no. I want to go out of the menu. Uh, we want to go to the gravestone now. I think if I can, I'll try and 100% this, too. I guess I could use it on the recently deceased cat. Cat person? <laughs> cat individual? I guess I could not go down the well this time. Ooh, a dead guy. I'm not dead. Oh, I nearly forgot how to speak in my time here. Long ago, I was gifted immortality. At first, I was relieved. But 50 years into my new situation, I began to rot. I became hungry and was too weak to hunt. I can only stare at this wall. I forgot to think. I forgot meaning. Please don't leave me here. If you do, please come back to kill me. I, I know you're not dead. I'm trying to kill you. And legs are super long. No, 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 no. I gotta click, not E. I don't think I can do anything with him yet. I must fetch other quests. Oh, oh okay. River too deep. page from a book here. It reads, Potion Chemistry, Volume 10, page 9. This concoction will aid the growth of any plant-based life form. 
Recipe simply calls for the blood of a beast and liquid bone. This potion holds potential for many practical uses, such as creating walkways to higher grounds and agents here. So this will take me up there, but I need to make a potion. Is there any way I can kill this dude? I guess I can collect stuff. How do I get liquid bone? Oh, hello. Momo has arrived. I can put water in it. I got sunflower seed. Two bags. I will feast for a month. I'm gonna put those someplace. Alright, so I have water. I have free water. If I give you water, will you be happy? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to need any more than one water. Grow plant! What was it? I ate like beast of a blood of a beast and liquid bone. All right, so blood of a beast, liquid bone. Whenever I can, whenever I can get those. I guess blood of a beast might be the cat that I accidentally killed. He's a he was a beast. Blood of a beast. Maybe I can get liquid bone over here. I don't know where I'd find liquid bone. There is a dead guy. There's a grave. Some say the water that filled this lake is liquid bone. They'd be wrong, because it's water. I really thought the jar was going to be the answer here. Back over there, see if it's, uh, see if this building has any hints. Oh, I can sleep. Oh. Oh, this is LSD Dream Emulator, huh? That's fucking nuts. What world am I in? Oh, I can't leave this area. When I'm in the dream zone. This is bizarre. 
You can see why it has uh, epilepsy warning. Maybe the gravestone has something. Oh yeah, the tree has a noose. Please cut my shackles of rope. Oh, hello. Uh, I was a man once. A dangerous fish caused my fate. Its flesh could kill an, immor uh, an immortal, but it can't harm plants. An immortal's death will never matter, though. Ghosts can't die. The boredom is too much, and I wish to poison the future. We need to feed this fruit to a mammal with a beating heart. Take the victim's blood. I know of a plant. Please kill it. Save us all from eternity. We need non-existence. Okay. Yo, Scream, welcome back. Oh, there's a guy there. We'll turn the volume down just a smidgen. Have you seen a painting around here? I saw it a long time ago, and it woke me my mind. I've traveled a long time to see it, yet it's gone. Such is death, I guess. Are you made of, like, liquid bone or something? Can I just scoop that out? No? Yeah, this actually, I believe this was in a haunted PS1 demo of this. So I need to feed that to the immortal dude, I think? What else can I do here? So there's the skeleton dude. I wonder, he's looking for a painting. I wonder if I can throw that at him, I don't know. Yeah, I believe this was on one of the old, old ones. This game came out a little while ago, too. Not the solution for him. I think I need to fish another one of those fish out of the water. Alright, let's go back to the, the world of the awake. The world of the living, maybe? I need to catch that orange fish again. Apparently that can kill an immortal. So I fed, I fed the cat the wrong fish. I wonder if there's a different ending depending on what you give the cat. So I beat a voice one uh, disc, not the last one before that. This might have been on the first one. I'm not sure. I don't know. Fatum Betula is not a long, far, a long Google away from any of us. It's a short Google. I guess I could either go visit the immortal skeleton, or I could visit the dead cat. Will there be a sun steam? Nice! I have no qualms. It's updated, which is nice. It, it, it's a lot easier for me to add stuff to it. Right, what, if I, what if I just toss this over at you? You're still dead. Yeah, okay. That's a forever dead cat.
It seems to run pretty okay, too. It was struggling a little bit during um, the Sea of Ink, which is understandable, but I can make, probably make some adjustments to fix that. I really don't know what to do with you. I'd recommend yeah switching. I honestly, I, 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 the, the one on Steam is so. Good. All right. I. I'm gonna visit the guy in the well. You are not very helpful, sir. I need to know where to deposit this stuff. Maybe I maybe I fucked up the whole game. Maybe killing the cat was like the 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 issue here. I don't know. Maybe this is the answer to all my problems. The same water. I guess I can revisit the ghost at the gravestone. I definitely got somewhere here, but I don't know how to get any further. All right, this was the sword. Maybe I'm not interacting with enough stuff with the sword. But yeah, I, I used to use the uh, the desktop version of OBS, and it really never did me any wrong. It would it would have trouble opening sometimes, but other than that, I didn't really have any problems. But recently, it's just it seems to be chugging a bit more. So I'm I switched to the Steam one. And it seems to be improved. Wait, you're supposed to look for this painting. Oh, see, there's the hand that the fish kills you. I'm curious, was I, did, did I screw up just because I gave the cat the wrong fish? Can I like not progress any further? I feel like, let me shift tab real quick. I want to look at something. Looking at the achievements. Oh, there's a, this achievement says no one dies. I feel like I already fucked that one up. But I kind of want to go through this normally once at least. What that's right now? Hmm. I guess I have to see him in my dreams again. I don't know. I, I'm. I guess I should have slept over there. Fortunately, I have a shortcut. No, the painting is not here. He was looking for it. Can I take it with me?
Oh, I got it. Okay, 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 okay. I have a painting in a jar. <gasps> oh my god, you found it! It's not quite as profound as I remember. I guess I was setting myself up for disappointment, though. For an eternity, this painting has only existed in my mind. Well, it's still gorgeous, and I am beyond thankful. Here, this literal uh, this is literally my only other possession. Give it a jar of dirt. Oh, is it bone? Liquid bone? Liquid bone. All right, now we can water the plant. They make it grow. Get to the other area. Yeah, this is just a fetch, a fetch quest game. I don't mind it. It's spooky. Spooky fetch quest is okay. And it is puzzling, and it's a, it is interesting to look at environments, so I think that makes it for me. But I can definitely see some people not liking this as much as I do. It's certainly a very simple game. Oh, it's kind of chill. I mean, it's like nothing, nothing can kill me yet. I say yet, you know. Just in case I need more beast blood. I assume you are a beast. What did that honestly do for me? Like, I'm up here. Just water. Is there another place I can go up there? Did I miss something on the other end? I guess I go over the river. That's what it is. Yeah. And this is the pathway. Here we go. Ooh, it's the church. Ooh, it's a spooky church. I'm gonna check out back first. You never know what you might find. And a church. Locked, huh? Well, one of these things has to work with somebody, right? Unless. That's it. Missing a step. Let's try and use everything on the skeleton down here. See if we can not uh, get him to die or something. Hello, sir. Not dead. Just come back and kill me. All right, let's uh. Try the fish. Fish is fine. Let's try the fruit. Fruit is fine. Is this the bad fish? <gasps> That's the bad fish. He died. Now we have the head. Can I get anything else out of him? No, so the beast blood was only really the cat. Interesting.
I mean, doing that with the cat got me there early, but I mean, what did it really do for me? I didn't have, like, a key to the church, so... You have no idea how important this is. We have just cheated death itself. Fuck yes. Here, I'll bring it up real quick. We plan to do with, with eternity. Hopefully, I can climb out of here. If I do, I'm gonna write a book about for my mother. She never liked my writing. Maybe I can change her mind. I have all the time in the world to try. Oh, what's ready? Here, take a sip. Immortality. Two of these. Perhaps three. I cannot drink it. Oh, God. Alright, well, who do I give immortality to? I could give it to the cat, but he's already gone. I mean, that fish just beat immortality, so... Well, now he's immortally dead. I think that's just faster to walk into the water. I wonder where you get the beast blood if you don't take out the cat. Oh, sir, I have immortality for you. Or do you want the fruit? I don't know what you want. You want a fish? What do you have to say for yourself? I had to give this to a mammal with See, I, that's my problem, is I have a cat that's dead, and not... Any good. Um, uh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. What else could I do? I can feed it to the dude, but I don't think he wants to eat anything. I don't think I remember of any other mammals other than the... The immortal guy. I guess he might be a mammal. Maybe he wants immortality. I don't know. I have to not be asleep anyway. I don't think I can leave this place if I'm asleep. I cannot give him immortality. You a mammal? No. Just bones. Well, now I gotta think. I don't have a way to get in the church.
forever. Nobody dies. Achievement get. Is that the end? Did I just beat the game? No one dies now. All aspects of beauty can be explored for eternity. Dying stars can be viewed. All secrets can be uncovered. Meaning can become meaningless. Eventually nothing but the immortals remain. They float in an empty void, forgetting who they are. Every problem is solved but one. Being alive. Ending seven forever. So we have multiple endings, huh? So I'm kind of curious now. Also, I'm curious why this hair does not want to cooperate. I'm kind of curious how I'm supposed to get other endings. So I, I don't. I shouldn't kill the cat. Oh look, hunted PS1 at the bottom of the list. Well, I guess I shouldn't not do it again. So I can remember I can remember the steps and everything, so I can go do it a bit quicker now. I think the longest part's gonna be the stupid teeth man. Which quite frankly is the scariest part of the game. I also never got into the church. Consider this Thank you for the vials. I'm gonna take a vial of water with me now. Alright, so we have a cat who's hungry. Cat is hungry. Cat tells us he's hungry. We go here. We collect the sword. There's two fish in that lake over there. We go straight across. Don't need to visit the grave for any reason at the moment. here pick out the pick out the sword we cut the rope we go back around go for the fishing rod To me, old fishing rod. Grab the fishing rod. Catchy the fishy. And we'll give the cat a different fish and see if he gives me a reward. Let me think. Let's see. We we'll go talk to the skeleton maybe first, actually. Hold on. I might want to talk to the other two first. Can I catch that fish from here? Maybe? If I could, that would be really nice. Nope. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. And sleep. We'll talk to this guy, see if he gives me anything to begin with. 
So he's just seeing the painting. We need to get the jar. I'm gonna head to the... Oh, we can cut down the rope and get uh, the fisherman's ghost to talk to us. So he says to feed this to, what does it give me if I feed it to a mammal? What's he say? Its flesh could kill an immortal who can't handle plants. An immortal's death will never matter though. Ghosts can't die. The boredom is too much and I wish to poison the future. You need to feed this fruit to a mammal with a beating heart. Take the victim's blood. I know of, a pl I know of the plant, please kill it. It was all from eternity. We need non-existence. Okay, so I think he wants me to feed this to a mammal. And I take that mammal's blood. And I think the plant that leads me to the church will die instead of growing for a different ending. Then again, I still need to get the jar. Probably should have just gone right in here. Part of it to here. And I still need the the liquid bone, right? Still need to get the painting. Still need the jar. Still need to go down to the well then to get the jar. Or I could feed the cat the regular fish and see what the cat gives me. Right? Cat might give me cat might give me a key to take me into the church, perhaps. Let's try the fish. Thank you for the energy. I needed it. Now I should return the favor. Here, take this for your troubles. I know we produced plenty of it back at home, although I can hardly remember my home. All I can seem to recall is fire. What the hell is this stuff? Oil. I have oil. I can turn everything into oil. Do I just kill the fish if I turn it into oil? Or I go back through my door. Go back the way I came. Turn it into oil. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe this is just an ending. Bad ending. It's an ending. The world is dying. Oh well. Parasites is the ending title. We have solved many issues. Though nothing claims the whims of nature. A small percent have made things far worse. Oh, it's a political statement. Well, not a political statement, it's an environmental statement. A parasite cannot survive without a host. No, the opposite is not true. <laughs> the birch's roots will flow to hell. Its branches will rise to heaven. Overgrown. It will reclaim what is dead.
Ending one. Uh, ending one. Parasites. There it is. All right, that's two endings gotten. Not bad. So this one, I'm trying to think. So this this time, I think I want to do. I guess I could follow. I have to do this again though. It's a problem. I could follow the. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the the fisherman ghost. I could follow his idea and give the fruit to the cat and take the cat's blood and kill the plant. But I have to mix that with the bone, so I still need the jar to get the painting. I should go get the jar first. I think I need water for anything, but I'm gonna grab water nonetheless. And this guy tells me to go kill some guy, some some guy, somebody, something, blah blah blah. I'm gonna read this thing. Back out. So now I have the jar. And we go by here, we grab the machete. Grab the painting, honestly. I wonder if I take the bone the liquid bone back to my place. Will that also give me an ending? Everything is liquid bone. Oh, I didn't move the... Oh, well, doesn't matter. <gasps> it does make it all liquid bone. All right, well, I guess I guess you go do that. That's, that's just, this is probably just an ending then. It seems to be taking different liquids. I can't actually take this liquid back, can I? I have to go, I have to wake up. I think taking different liquids at the end prompts a different ending every time. So I guess I could bring back blood and put blood in the water. There's also an ending where I have to kill a plant. Maybe killing the plant gives me a different liquid? I don't know. I do want to see if there's a bone ending. Bone water! No, I can't deposit liquid bone here. Okay. Well, what's thinking? I tried. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Something wrong. Twice. What is with this today? All right, so let me think, let me think. I got the liquid bone. So I still need to go visit the fisherman, so the fisherman can tell me to make the to take the fruit, and give it to the cat. To kill the cat, to take the special kind of blood, to give it to the plant, to kill the plant. I think I'm still gonna cut the boat loose, though. Oh, that was my bad. Oh, I got it anyway. All right. God damn.
Can I just walk into the noose? Like, I don't think I cut it before, did I? I did cut it. Okay, so we have the fruit. We wave back up. Now we take the fruit. We give it to the kitty cat. And then we check the blood to see if it's different. Maybe like tainted blood or something like that. I don't know. The only hope that it leads us to a different ending. So sorry, sir. <coughs> Poison. Oh, wait a minute. I guess I should do the harder one first, right? Don't just take the poison to the end. Let's take the poison to the plant. It wasn't the right plant, maybe. Maybe it was the plant that was inside the house. Like, I never tried watering that plant, either. I'll give it a try. Well, at least technically I've already beaten it. <laughs> like with all of this is just extra at this point, right? Cannot do anything with that. Can I water it? No. Can't do anything with anything. Because the fish just all didn't just die. I guess the plant is just the plant in the, the monastery thing then. Give that a try. I think I'm going to look up the rest of the endings and do them. I don't know. It'll, it'll speed up the process. And that's an ending. Nothing to worry about. Dot, dot, dot. Ellipses. Nothing. There is nothing. This history is erased. There isn't a pair of eyes to see what you've undone. No ears to hear the silence. Not a mouth to say goodbye. 
The only being left is outside of the fiction. I'm sure eventually you won't remember this world. You won't remember this world, though. Death will make sure of it. Ending zero. Nothing to worry about. The bleak ending. All right, let's see. Maybe I can shift tab and get a guide that gives me all of the nice little endings. So I can get all the cool achievements. That would be really nice. Three out of 14 achievements done. Ending flowchart plus secrets. Here we go. Thank you, Steam Guides, by, by the way. These are basically uh, my... What do you call it? My uh, lifeblood. There's a bunch of weird stuff. There's a bunch of weird stuff. There's some crazy stuff I don't know how to get to. Okay, taking the knife. Getting the fishing rod from the boat, feeding the immortal skeleton orange fish, giving the skull to the writer, collecting immortality, ending seven. Got that. Getting the fishing rod from the boat, feeding the uh, beast a fish, collecting oil, ending one. Okay. Take the knife. Take the knife, kill the beast, collect the blood, ending two. Oh, this is straight up ending right there. I can just... Okay. I didn't realize you could kill the beast with the knife. Files. Gotta go collect the knife. This is this is probably the shortest ending out of all of them. Collect the knife. Slay the beast. Collect the blood. Take the blood. This is a... I, thought, thought just occurred to me. This is a game I could totally speedrun. Definitely a game I could definitely, definitely speedrun. If it's just fetch quests, you just... Memorize the pathing. Don't ask questions. Cut some flesh. We are cursed with a tendency for violence. Individuals are easy to kill. I knew society persists and more blood spills. An endless river. Systems now refuse to be created. People won't talk. Every conflict ends with a knife drawn. Community will never arise. Ending two murderers. 
All right, so that was a quick ending. What's my next ending then? All right, then there is take the knife, kill the beast, collect the beast blood. Oh, hold on, let me skip past this. Great collecting plant growth. What? Plant growth. Jar. Something in the sea. There's a sea? Apparently there's a sea I can go to. I guess that's what the the the, the large body of water is? There's something I am not familiar with that it's telling me to do. Take the knife. Talk to the immortal fisherman. Poison the beast. Use poison on the sea. Enter suburbia. I don't know. What, I guess suburbia is going to sleep. There is another, there are two more endings with the poison. So talk to the immortal fisherman. Okay, so the immortal fisherman needs the knife. You don't need to do anything with the cat yet. We need to get the knife. And we need to go to sleep. Hold on. This is not the ocean, I don't think, then. It's supposed to be a secret if you do that a bunch of times. Either way. Uh, okay, now I need to go to sleep. And we need to go fetch the poison. to the cat. Now, what I'm curious is, it says, okay, use, it says poison the beast, use the poison on the sea. I don't know what the sea is. I thought this was the sea, but I poisoned the sea before. And it says enter suburbia. So I'm thinking, I poison this and I go to sleep? That's what it means by enter suburbia? I don't, I don't know. I don't know where suburbia is otherwise. I don't, and I'm not sure if I Poison the sea. I guess if I poison the river, I poison the sea? Maybe that. Maybe that'll do it. Let's see. Let's see. I'm just gonna poison every body of water I find, to be honest. I don't know how to enter the sea otherwise. I don't know. 
Because it's not poisoning, it's not um, getting ending zero. Oh, this is water again. Interesting. Poison the sea, poison the sea. I think the only reason I think this is the sea is because it's the largest body of water in the entire game, right? Okay, I don't think I'm in the right place. I don't know. Maybe I should go to sleep. Let's see if sleeping makes something work. No. Nope. I can poison this, too. I don't know where suburbia is, then. Back at the other guys, real quick. Hold on. Travel right into the hub of the lake. Start stuck in the tree. Cut the rope. Okay. Oil. Okay. There's two methods for one ending, huh? Yeah, you need to open up two guides now. God damn it. All right. Well, I'm gonna be thorough. But you guys have to be patient. That is... That's just how it's gonna work here. Okay, the ending I'm looking for is ending... 3 and 8. Ending 3. Files to the hub of the lake. Collect the sword. Sleep in the bed. Cut the noose. Get the thing. Use flask to collect poison from the beast's body. Travel up to the right of the beast to find the ocean. I did not. I've never been to the ocean room. I did not know that there was even a place. But up to the right of the beast. Oh, it's a secret. That's a submarine. Okay, what's next? Poison the sea. Enter suburbia? Is this suburbia? This is back the way I came. That means it's not gonna be poisoned anymore. Oh, hey there. Hold on, I gotta poison the sea first. Before I do anything else, this is a whole new area too. But I've been told something specific. I have to enter suburbia. Maybe suburbia is the submarine? Suburbia? Okay, this is a whole new place. That's the church key. Okay, so this is the place where the church key is. Alright.
Two is dead, I'm not going anywhere. Wait, hold on, this pink hurts. Oh, the seaweed is dead. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Oh. The poison is bad. Who knew? I entered suburbia, but now what? Am I supposed to cut that thing? I don't know. I'm supposed to collect something down here. Besides the key. Maybe not, maybe... I don't know. Because the next step it says on this is... Uh, actually, let me go check the other guide. Ending 3. Collect the poison of the beast's body, filling the ocean with poison, travel across the ocean floor through the dead seaweed, while and down the chasm. There's a chasm? I have to find a chasm. Can I walk up the side? That's a chasm, that's for sure. Oh, you can just walk through that. Here we go to the chasm. Scary. Oh, suburbia. Now we're in suburbia. And it says to enter a house. <laughs> hey kids, I can't move. Any changes you want to make are unreasonable. Stay in bed and die. Red lines are neat. Differences bring the people without them together. You are your bone structure. My arm is stuck in the wall. Say nice things for mem for money. We've made the world a perfect place. Buy what we want. Buy buy what we want you to want. Fail to accept entropy. You can't be smart unless you were born right. Ooh. One day you will find a hole in your arm. Don't vote. If you have trauma, don't. I don't care about you. Anyone can achieve our dreams. Your parents' net worth means a lot to us. You can't be smart unless you're paid for it. Buy a gun. Oh my god. Your neighbor isn't who they seem. Memory fails you. Do terrible things for money. We hate you. Please stop. Uh, nothing should change. If, if we are above you, pull yourself up. Wow, what good programming that was. Hey, kiddo. You better get outside once in a while. He gets really upset when you linger in front of that TV. Now you'd better be watering that plant you keep in your room. From now, uh, now, now there, sweetie. I'm sure it's still alive. I'll just be washing this dish for the next week or so. Well, what am I supposed to do next? Okay, that's interesting. Hey, look, it's me. Look, it's the player. We killed the player. Oh, my blood.
I just realized I can go this way. I'm probably gonna fast travel back, right? Yep. So now you now we put our blood here. And there is the ending. The cycle. Your kin becomes you. Is what the achievement I just got was. A product of the world that raised you. I don't blame you. So you have murdered the child in your blood. As is what previously happened to you. You don't deserve sympathy, but I am sorry. I hope they end up better than you. Interesting. That's that ending. I think there's another one I still have to poison the ocean again. So let's think. We have to get to the... We have to get to the dude... Oh, right. We have to get to the dude who is in my dream. The, the fisherman. We have to go to the fisherman to get the thing. So we go, we go to the fisherman. We get the thing. Really, what else? Uh... Take the apple, bring it to the dude, grab the poison, go to the ocean, poison the ocean. I think I still have to poison the ocean. So this should be ending eight. Let me double check this. I think it's ending eight, right? Ending eight, yes. So now we... We gotta go to the lake. Okay, so we go to the lake. Grab that, just in case I need it. I don't. I do need it. So I can cut down the thing. Okay, we go to sleep. Now we cut down the noose. Talk to the fisherman. Nope, talk to him twice, I guess. Back to the lake. Wake back up. And it's down to a science now. We head back. Feed the cat the apple. What does it all mean? I don't know. Something something pollution. <coughs> Go to the ocean. Do we still poison the ocean? Oh no.
Oh no, I can still do it with poison. You can also do it with oil, apparently. You feed it, fill it with oil. Or poison. Okay, so this is an interesting. This is a slightly interesting one. Slightly different, but also interesting. Cool. Now we travel across here. We go back down the chasm into suburbia. Down to suburbia we go. And instead of going to the first house we see, we're gonna travel. Down the road until we reach a building. There's a, there's a movie out there that has a similar kind of style to this. Not like the whole game, but this specific part right here. I don't remember what it's called. It starts with a V. I watched it fairly recently. It's like a kind of like an alien thing. Interdimensional sort of. Okay, that's interesting. Well, that's what we're looking for. He's dead. My log, day one. This neighborhood goes on forever. It's all the same, and I think it exists for someone else. I try going inside the houses, and they treat me like a virus. I don't think I belong, despite never existing elsewhere. My log, day two. When I designed this facility, I wanted to make something different, round. I can't put my finger on it, but something about everything is off. I was bitten. My mind felt like it was beginning to fade, so I went into the houses. The woman inside became extremely aggressive and fucking bit me. I immediately went to check my blood and I found a foreign entity. Oh. A4. Looks like I won't be going outside. The virus is having a violent reaction to something in the outside air. I'm going to construct a quarantine area as soon as possible. Day 7. I was getting weird in here. The houses seem to go... The houses seem to go... Seem to... Seem like so long ago. Wow, I can't talk. Uh, I don't know how long I can go without seeing other fate face uh i'm gonna need to find some new hobbies fast b16 something has been forming in my dreams unlike anything i've ever seen before every night is more vivid so smooth woke up today i must be losing it the object uh from my dream is right here in front of me i finally realized what's so special about it it's truly smooth and the light bounces off it like fireworks why is everything else constructed from straight edges i feel awake they keep appearing. I think it's something to do with the nature of existence. I don't know what's in them. It doesn't taste great. What is happening? What is fucking happening? Something is being broadcasted from just air itself. I can't understand it, but it sounds uh, explicitly constructed. I don't think it's going to stop. It's built into my foundation of empty space, it seems. It has to be important. My log. They are getting bigger. I don't get it. Someone has to come. They need to see. I hope they're reading this. What are we made of? Edges, not atoms. Scripts, not DNA. I am a plane. I shouldn't know. Is there anything else? Polygons, reused asset, no past. Help. Up, up to plane tomato soup. Up to plane tomato soup. It sounds like the dev. This just sounds like funny dev haha -ha moment. Wait, is that, is that Unity? Is that the Unity logo? Or, uh, Unreal? I don't remember. I am, I am but a sound guy. I know Audacity and Gold Wave and 
Pro Tools. Alright, now that I have the soup, we go back. And we deposit the soup. Have soup. New achievement name one. Everyone understands now. None of this is real. Oh, it's the meta ending. Like, oh, it's a video game all along. Our polys are rigid and defined. This is text on the screen. <gasps> the soup's a model! <laughs> Great, I love it. Reality is important, don't lose sight of it. It's not profound, but it's true. Get out there and be real. Ooh. This is my favorite ending so far. Thing eight developed. All right. I believe there's still more because we still have the church stuff to do. I'm going to have to see. I'm going to have to see what else I have to do yet. Secret ending unnamed. Ending is completed by achieving the following steps. Saving the game using the save menu by pressing F5 or in game. Navigating your save file. Editing a string of liquid save file to secret. Oh, this is an interesting one. I want to do the secret ending. So I have to get the vials first. I'm gonna double check this. Alright, this says. Okay, so this says. What do I have to do here? Press F5 while in game. You save. We X out. Exit the game. Yes. I'm gonna get the secret ending real quick. We gotta look at the game files. What am I? What am I editing? Which file am I editing? Of course, the, the, the guide was in-game, so now I closed the game. I have to reopen the guide. Uh, let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay. So. Oh, that's a weird spot. Um, wait, what? Okay. Okay. 
फिर Not there. Okay, that's weird. Huh. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, wait, no, I got it. I got it. This appears to be it. Oh, that's the same guy who developed uh, Mysteries and Relicophilia. I just, I, wow, I just realized. Okay, and then we go... Uh, adding the string. Okay. How am I editing? Save file, okay. Hitting received. Hitting jarred. Church open. God, I feel like a coat. I feel like I'm like I'm properly coding stuff. This is crazy. All right, so. Looking for liquid three, apparently. Okay, ocean liquid number and liquid. Where where is this? Sorry, this is probably really, really boring for you guys, I know, but files, you know. All right, liquid three underscore underscore type a string value. Okay, so I want value to be secret. And then we save that. Did it save it? I don't know if it saved it. Hold on. Value secret, yeah. And I'm going to relaunch the game. And we'll see if that works. Should be my third liquid slot. And if I immediately put it in, I get a secret ending. How do we load? We load it like that. No? Let's try that again. Save. I guess I delete that and save over that. So now I have liquid in one. Exit the game. Let's try this again. I could do this at the end, but what's the fun in that? You gotta do it immediately. Okay. Hey. 
right now I've forgotten how to get there. Doi, doi, doi. All right. Uh, uh, okay. And we go down to the developer. We go to Adam Betula. We edit the save file. I don't think it actually saved them. to liquid okay does it say water it says water okay so now we put change water to secret now i have to make sure i hit save on this save now we exit out of it now let's try it now it should be secret liquid i wish i could show you that what i was typing in there but like I don't want to, like, show any of my desktop. And right, now we load this file. And now we have secret liquid. Secret. Look at the secret. There it is. Secret ending. All right, hey. Look, it's the dev. I'm the developer of the game. He's the developer of the game. <clears throat> I've never done anything like this before, but I thought it'd be what? cool to just hide this in the game here. I'm just going to be uh, poking around the files. Yo, we're poking around the files? So I'm actually, I haven't finished the game yet as of recording this. As you can see, I only have a few of the ending videos down here. But There's a 100 PS1 intro. I saw that. Yeah, I, don't know. I just thought I'd do some behind the scenes. So, this is the title screen here. Yeah, that's the title screen there. Not much to look at. So let's go over to the plant room. Oh, you already had Suburbia here. done before the game was even done. I guess it is ending three, I think. Yeah, so this was before I found out that uh, Modus actually made some shaders for the caustics on the walls. So I just... They're actually a separate model here let's see yeah look at that whoa of course we have our, our friend back here we can there he is as you can see i i didn't know what to call him so i, I plant just room called guy. Him guy plant room guy crazy this is oh, this is really my. fun and actually, let's see if I can find this. Let's see. Cast boy. Here. Yeah. Okay. So I cut this out of the room because I thought it didn't really match. Oh. The scenery very well, but. It's got a floating There's a thing. fountain. I put a fountain in the game. We can take a little look at it, in game, of course. That's so crazy. That's not there. What are you talking about? Look at that. That. Yeah. I see it. It does look pretty nice. Maybe I'll use it in something someday. I don't know. All right, let's let's go ahead and move on to the hub world. Yeah, sure. Let's go to the hub world. Look at that. It's the hub world. Yeah. So I remember not really knowing what to do with this door here. Just put it, so on, just put it sideways. I just kind of left it floating in the air. I didn't want to make an outside of the plant room or anything. And I think it worked out. I think it's, it's I think it adds to it. Yeah. Here we have our friend over here. Everyone thinks this is a cat, but actually it was supposed to be a raccoon. Yo, it's, it's a raccoon. A raccoon in the behind the scenes. This is crazy. Here. I love this. But uh, it does it does not look like a raccoon very much. I originally tried to texture 
his head with like realistic raccoon fur and everything, and it uh, it looked like did blood. not work out at all. Probably, yep. Like he's gonna show the yeah, original even. raccoon. And uh, hair. early in play testing, actually, we I found out that you could just walk up the walls and just fall down into the pit down here. And I thought, you know what? I'll just I'll just hide something down there. I'm not even gonna get rid of that. There's something hidden down there? Yep. And uh That's the ocean, I know that. I, I placed this area up here behind the two bushes because I I just really wanted to have a nice little secret in this first starting area. It's kind of inspired by the uh I had to look it up. There's there's a caves in in Lego Island. There's like a door that was that's yeah, accessible. Yeah, okay. oh my god, what a weird reference. Really yeah, I played Lego yeah, Island growing little up. Alcoves and little holes and stuff like that. So that's why that's there. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, there's like a secret uh, uh cave under the island and it was just so trippy. This is one of the later ones I made. I the well actually used to be placed over here and you could only Nuts. access it by getting up on the plant, getting up here, and then jumping down into it. But I thought, you know, uh, I kind of wanted to be accessible really early on so that you wouldn't have to jump through a bunch of hoops just to get there. So here it is. It's right here. I experimented with having more light shafts, but I felt it was a bit too much. So just kept it like that. Oh, the gravestone here, the text there, it's actually, it's actually it says a, a few things. It says lorem ipsum. Oh, okay, of course. And then it says, uh, I believe L is real, 2401. Oh, I love it. The to, little uh, Mario. Some rumors surrounding a certain Nintendo 64 game. Little well, Mario 64, L is real. And, uh, and like Luigi, if you collect all the coins. I forgot what the last bit says, but yeah. Oh, you just Some forgot it? I just put Lost some media? Filler text there. Alright. This kanji here actually translates to birch. Oh, because. Um, and in references the Nightmare to that. Zone, it's different. Oh, so it is. It's, it, uh, that, that means, I believe, to have a nightmare. Huh. And this area, the graphical. I guess intensity of it or whatever. Um, kind of came about by accident. I, I didn't intend to even have this area in the game at first. I didn't plan for it. But uh, I accidentally dragged the render texture material onto the walls inside of Cherry Blossom. And I just thought it looked neat. So I decided to make a whole area based around that. Let's go cool. here. Oh, shoot. Uh, here, let's... That was, like, the main draw for me for the game was when that happened. I Over here, I, I, like, I thought it'd be cool, cool to hide a character... Is a character? ...based on the vertex snapping of it being, like, so intense that the further you get away from it, it just basically becomes invisible. But this closer you get... There okay, is. so there's a it's secret really character unstable. in the dream area, too. This character doesn't really uh, have a lot to do in the game, but... You know, I just thought it'd be cool to hide in there. Add a bit of flavor. So two you. secrets. Two this secrets. Really cool place to uh, develop the only high poly asset in here, in the whole game right here. There's the Serato cans, that's funny. Soup cans. I really don't know why I chose soup cans. But uh, yeah, there they are. Of course, this is a picture of me. That's him! That I just used for the scientist. Yep. And on this board here, we actually have some stock photos that were on the title screen. Actually, like over here and here. Uh, this right here is the painting. Well, that's the, yeah, that's the painting. That is hung up in the cherry blossom area. That's the Unity logo, of course. That's what this I thought. This is the letter that you receive, letter. or that you just have in your inventory at the start of the game. This is, of course, the eyeball symbol that relates to the plant room and the churches and all that. 
this right here is a picture of the, the body stuck in the wall that's in the uh, suburbia area. Is the body stuck in the wall? Well check out. Or not the suburbia, the house area. No, the house is within suburbia. I get it. Yeah, here we are. So originally I was going to have the mom's face scroll between a few different arrangements like this, kind of inspired by the land of the living and Grim Fandango. But uh, I don't know. I just accidentally had it scrolling in two directions. And that just scrolls through her whole texture there. Like you can see the the hair texture and the faces show up. And I just, I don't know, that looked a bit more chaotic. And uh, I decided to keep it. It drew my eye. Hopefully people will see that and think it's unintentional. But uh, yeah, there's the image that was on the... I just figured it was just blank space behind the texture. The, uh, the cork board. The conspiracy board, if you will. All right, let's check out Suburbia. Oh, so, so it's the, the texture on the TV. I wanted to give off the vibe that it goes on forever, but it's actually very small, and it just teleports you. Yeah, it teleports you back. A lot of games it. do that. So right here is the player's position, as you can see. And but here. I guess let's you only get teleported a certain amount of times. Set this up so that we can see all of it. Turn off. I wonder how long this is. This, this, okay. this feels kind of long. Yeah, so... It's really in-depth. Right depth there though. is the player's position. Right there is the player's position. And as we walk, we have oh, a trigger that teleports, that teleports back. back. And this works in either direction. How many times does it teleport you? I'm asking a question as you keep answer. going. So far, he's uh, answered all my questions. Eventually, it'll detect that you've walked enough to uh, let you. you go on into the lab. Might as well take a little peek. We got a gazebo. This the, is the ocean, ocean area. Which maybe doesn't go out as far as you might think. Yep. The sand texture down there is a little messy. You know, you can see the seams of it, but. You know, you can get away with that sort of thing. Got the submarine here. All right. Ocean floor. Let's look at this one. I haven't seen the regular ocean floor yet. I've only seen it poisoned. Turn, off, turn down the... It looks like the chasm was blocked up by distance. seaweed. Why not? Look at that. That's, That's the That's why area. you have to poison it. You got the... The walls stretch out about that much. There you go. Hope somebody's interested in that. Well, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this stupid little behind the scenes, me messing around little video that I hid in the game. I never even talked to this guy. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe you got something out of it. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. I know more about game development now than I did before. Uh, fun little thing to do, I guess. Uh, anyway, yeah, I hope you have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the game. If you didn't, that's all right. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. So, uh, bye. There it is. Can I exit now? How do I get out? <laughs> oh. I think I have to manually close the game. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Nice. All right, so I've got... I'm halfway through all the achievements. Halfway through. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to end it now and I'm going to, I mean, at some point in the future, near future, I'm going to probably this weekend record the rest of the endings and I'll make it a little short video, uh, like a second part to this 
that'll kind of go over the rest of the game. But that was really cool. I really like this game. I think I got some of the coolest things out of it. Um, if there's anything else cool, I'm sure it'll show up in the video. I think there's a couple more secrets, but we'll see where we get.